Coming to a theater near you, the Cat Video Fest. Today is Thursday, July 25th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Partly sunny today, a high in the low 80s. More light has been shed on one of the most secretive criminal cases in Lycoming County, as two preliminary hearings are held under heavy security. All charges against Janice Laguerre of Williamsport have been bound to court for her alleged role in the shooting death of 15-year-old Amin Palmer outside TGI Fridays in March. Laguerre is the mother of the alleged 17-year-old shooter and is accused of driving the teen to and from the crime scene. It was learned at the hearing she's been charged as an accomplice to murder in the first degree, as well as hindering apprehension. Her son, Jahir Laguerre, remains at large. Meanwhile, a magistrate has dismissed all charges against a man accused of providing the gun that killed Palmer. Three juveniles are in custody and accused of firing shots in multiple locations in the city of Williamsport. Shots were fired on July 18th in the 2200 block of Lynn Street, where a bullet hit a car of a passing motorist. Shots were fired again Monday night in the 2100 block of King Street. The most recent shooting took place early Tuesday morning in the 600 block of 4th Avenue, where a bullet struck a parked car. Two 17-year-old boys will be petitioned to juvenile court, while a 16-year-old Philadelphia boy was located and returned to Philadelphia as he was wanted by juvenile probation there. More details are released in the case of two Keystone Central School District support staff having inappropriate contact with a student. 36-year-old Dana Kitchen of Lock Haven and 29-year-old Brittany Koch of Beach Creek are accused of sending sexually explicit photographs and videos of themselves to the 14-year-old middle school boy. Kitchen worked in food service while Koch was a teacher's aide in the middle school. Both women allegedly admitted to their conduct, with both claiming they were not getting attention at home. Both posted $25,000 bail. If you got a parking ticket in State College, you could be getting money back after the State Attorney General reaches a settlement. Walk Service Center and its owner, Bradley Karsh, engaged in deceptive practices by issuing private parking tickets in State College that look similar to government parking tickets. People who were ticketed by walks were forced to pay under the false threat of prosecution and or unlawful retention of their vehicle. Consumers who paid a private parking ticket issued by walks can file a complaint with the Bureau of Consumer Protection. Registration is open for the 5th Annual Nine Miles for Nine Lives Fitness Challenge in August. Money that is raised supports cats at the Cherry's Cat Rescue Alliance and the Scratching Post in Lewisburg. And speaking of cats, Dips and Theaters at the former Lycoming Mall is having a cat video fest August 3rd and 4th. It's a compilation of the latest and best cat videos. A portion of the proceeds will go to help cats in need. The Lycoming County SPCA will be there with info on how to help cats in need. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.